Hi everyone and welcome to this installer festival uh, session with Fernox. Uh, today we're here to talk about the launch of an exciting new product, the Power Cleaner F8. I'm joined by Anna Tarbuck, who's Director of Research and Product Technologies at Fernox. How are you, Anna? I'm very good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. And we've got Derek Hunter from UK Power Flashing here. Derek, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Yeah, perfect. Thank you very much uh, for joining us both. Um, so, Anna, can you give us a bit about your uh, your background at um, Fernox, please? Sure. So um, I've been at Fernox for five years now um, and I am basically responsible for um, really the R&D and product development of our exciting chemistry and filter products that we've, uh, we have in our portfolio. So, um, yeah, it's an exciting role. Lots of uh, cool people that work with me. Um, got lots of lab capabilities here in, in Woking, which is where I'm based. And Derek, what about you? What's your, uh, what's your industry background? So I'm a plumbing and heating engineer, have been for close on 30 years, moved into power flushing around about five years ago, and I would probably say that 80% of my work is now power flushing. Oh, fantastic. So we've got some two uh, good experts here to talk about the new product. So Anna, Fernox are launching the Power Cleaner F8. How did this uh, product come about? Well, I think as many people will know, you know, Fernox has been around a while. Um, we were one of the first to bring a cleaner into the market um, about over 50 years ago now. Um, so that's given us quite a lot of experience with installers and engineers and understanding some of the problems that they have. Um, and obviously more recently with some of the um, environmental um, drivers, um, everything has to be much more energy efficient, but with that has brought sort of much more uh, problematic issues in terms of the systems. So with smaller waterways um, and uh, things are becoming much more prone to being sludged up, um, this is causing a lot of problems with, with, with some of our customers. So we were trying to figure out, uh, have we got a product or can we develop a product that really helps them to, um, remove uh, some of the, the really difficult debris that gets caught up in these small waterways in, in, in heat exchanges and so on. So we, um, we saw this as a bit of a gap in the market and uh, hence why we decided to develop the, uh, the F8 Clean App, which we'll talk about in a moment. And Derek, you've, um, you've tried this uh, prior to its launch. So what were, your, what were your first thoughts about the product? Well, I've used a lot of cleaning products from various manufacturers and uh, I got the F8 from Fernox a few months back and I had a, a perfect job to try it on. I had a problem with a plate heat exchanger and I couldn't clear it uh, by any other method. So I used the F8. It took me a while. It was severely choked and uh, it did clear it. So, yep. That's all good. So, Anna, how long um, has the product been in development? Been in development and can you explain the process, please? Sure. Um, well, it's probably been about 18 months in development. And um, I mean, with us, what we tend to do is we really try and talk to our customers and, and the people that use our products to understand what are the problems that they're faced with. And so the first, that's really the starting point for any development. So um, with this, that's where we, we started and we, we realized that they had these issues with uh, uh, needing some sort of cleaner to help with these really problematic uh, systems. Um, and so we, um, from, from, Getting that initial voice of customer, uh, we then do sort of some uh, lab work. We try and understand what formulations we might need to develop in order to, to meet and solve some of these problems. And when we've got something that we're happy with, um, it's at that point we then start to um, do proper testing. And we've got, we're lucky here, we've got some real live system demonstration um, equipment that we can use. Um, but equally, we also need to do a proper live system out in the marketplace. So obviously having people like Derek uh, on hand to help us with that is, is a real, really valuable um, asset. So um, it's very important. So obviously, if, once we get the feedback from, from the market and from our lab testing and we're happy with that product, it's at that point we can then start to scale up formulation and really look at how we will produce it and manufacture it and obviously once that's uh, agreed and, and we, we do testing from a production point of view uh, we can then release it into the market. Yeah so it's, it's part of the Ferdux cleaner range so how does it differ to the other cleaners? Well obviously we've got um, quite a broad range of, of cleaning uh, products. Um, we have our neutral range and the F3 most installers are probably familiar with and, and service engineers are familiar with um, which is sort of our, our flagship product um, which we recently actually upgraded to uh, treat larger volume uh, systems up to 130 liters um, that's our neutral part of our neutral range and and we also had a, um, a product called f5 um, cleaner f5 and that was predominantly used by 
people like Derek for, for power flushing. And uh, we realized that that re was really the area where we needed to, to, to develop something that, that would be a little bit more uh, powerful. So um, really where, what this product will do is replace that F5 product um, and it will give a much better um, and a much more effective, faster moving, faster acting solution. Uh, we also have some acidic products that we, we have available for systems which are very heavily scaled and they will still be useful for that. But where the uh, Power Cleaner F8 is particularly good is because it's a liquid um, and it's not a powder, it doesn't need, um, it doesn't have, uh, it's much easier to put into the system and uh, with the, the particular formulation that we have with it, um, it is very fast moving and is, uh, it means that you can probably um, have your system, um, you know, certainly see, see a difference within an hour, I would say, of, of using that product. Yeah, Derek, you, so we mentioned that you've, you've, uh, you've trialled it. Um, so how did it benefit uh, your power flushing business in cleaning heavily sludged and dirty systems? Well, most of my, most of my stuff will be problematic uh, jobs. There's always an issue somewhere down the line. Now, that could be anything up to no circulation to one or two of the radiators not working or the heat exchanger. So the general system is that you would flush it and then you would put... Uh, the chemical in it to try and clear it. Now, time-wise, I can't really put a time time scale on how much time it saves me. The, 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 the difference with this cleaner is that it either is going to be a, it's going to end up successful. Uh, it's going to be the difference between it being successful and not successful. Time-wise, yeah, I'm on one today for the problem radiator, one radiator out of eleven radiators, and I put the chemical in, and it's been running pretty much most of the morning. Uh, it's now gone, so it's it's good, uh, and that was on a HEP system that, that you would never ever have got to the pipes. You would have had to end up uh, cutting them out, cutting walls out, lifting floors, etc. And as I say, I've tried other other cleaners, and this is really the only one that's, that's ever got it. But again, time-wise, I can't put a time element on it. Sometimes it will take 20 minutes, sometimes it will take four hours, but it, it is successful. Yeah, you touched on it then, but how easy is the product to use? Well, I, I have an a opening on my power flush machine where I just pour it into my machine and put the water in and away I go. So it, it's, I would never use a, a, a powder chemical in any way. Uh, they're just too difficult to install. But if you want to install this into a system to leave it running for a wee while, it would just be the same as any other liquid. You would put it in via the filter, via a radiator, via the F&E tank or uh, what, what, other, what other, uh, other method you're going to use. But for me, I do power flushing. I just pour it into my, into my power flush machine and away I go. So pretty simple for me to use it. That sounds good. Right. Uh, Anna, the power cleaner F8 doesn't require neutralization. Um, so why is this important? Why is this a benefit? Well, I think it's all about efficiency, really. Um, I mean, the great thing about this thing is it's, um, you know, it's a 500 mil product. It's, uh, say, it, it's um, because you don't have to neutralize it. You don't have to um, have that um, length of time um, with it in the system as some of the other products that, that we've talked about. Um, and I think, you know, what's really good about this is an incredible, powerful um, dispersant effect. Um, and because of the... Um, its ability to um, carry and lift the dirt more effectively, that means that it acts very, very fast. Um, and I think for any, um, anybody working on site, you know, the speed of, of the effectiveness of the product is, is really, really important because it obviously saves that time um, and allows you to, um, you know, optimize your, 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 your own time on site so that you're doing what you need to be doing rather than spending lots of time um, you know, with uh, waiting for things to happen. So hopefully, um, as I say, this is a, this is a really, um, good product that people will, will use and find very easy to use and very effective in a very short period of time. So Anna, one of the, um, one of the things that um, installers get frustrated by is uh, when the chemicals foam up in the system. So is this something that happens with the FA cleaner? No, absolutely not. I mean, one of the great things about this is that it, because of the collating um, agent and the, the citric um, power that we've put into it, it doesn't foam. So it's so much easier to get out of the system. Um, and that was really one of the drivers behind developing this in the way that we have. Derek, uh, how much of a frustration is it for you when it starts to foam up? Well, it can be problematic trying to get it out of the system, as Anna says. It's, uh, it can take a bit of time. Uh, with the F8, it's, it's a lot quicker removing it from the system, definitely, 100%.
And Derek, um, how does this work on, on hard and soft water? Have you got any, uh, have you tried it on both? Have you got any uh, insight into that? Well, we, we're a Scottish based company, so we cover the whole of Scotland, but we also cover uh, a lot of areas the south of the border as well. And to tell you the truth, it's not, it's not really something that I've ever had an issue with. Uh, I just use it regardless. And uh, I've, I've never I've never had an issue with, with any problems with hard water or soft water. So it's, it's always been fine. And I, I use cleaner on pretty much every job. Obviously, I've had limited experience with the F8. I've used it probably 10 times. Uh, so, yeah, I don't have an issue with that. Uh, like you said, you, you've had a, um, a kind of a field test with it um, and you've used it uh, a fair few times. So would you recommend this product to other installers? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I've already had other installers contact me regarding this. I had a, a video up on Facebook uh, of me clearing a heat exchanger. And uh, yeah, I've, rec I've already recommended it. Obviously, it isn't to the market yet, but it will be soon. Are you using anything else or has this kind of replaced um, everything that you were using before? Uh, yeah, I, I have used other products. I've used uh, different manufacturers as well. I have had success, but nowhere near the success that I've had up until now with uh, the FA. So going forward, this is going to be your cleaner of choice? Correct, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. So, Anna, for anyone uh, who's watching this, um, uh, where can we find out more information? When's it going to be available? So it uh, should start to see, see the product on shelves in the coming weeks, um, next couple of weeks, I'd, I'd say, um, into October. Um, it'll be available from all the major and, um, and independent stockists. Um, obviously, if you want a bit more information, you can always go onto our website, which is www.fernox.com. Alternatively, give um, our sales team a call, and I can give you the number there if you like. It's um, 0330 100 um, and obviously we'll be very happy to talk to anybody about how the product will work and um, how it's best applied for, for their requirement. Brilliant. Thanks a lot then for your time, guys. Thank you, Derek. Yeah, thanks. Thanks very much for having me. And uh, thanks a lot, Anna. Thanks very much. Lovely to talk to you. And check out uh, Fernox on their website and their social media for, for more information.